This is uh, Indians take two because we had um, a lot of visions uh, uh, brought out in our prayer meeting about the Indians. I didn't have time to put it all in one video. So this is take two. And uh, Judy Christine Messing Santiago uh, is often used by God in visions. And uh, she saw on February 24th, she, the Lord showed her a large auditorium, uh, but it didn't have any chairs in it, just a big floor. And in the center, these uh, first people or the Indians were doing a dance around the teepee, a teepee, and uh, they passed the peace pipe. You know, I just believe that is forgiveness. The peace pipe, forgiving, forgiving, forgiving the years and years of waste and abuse. And then she saw a long road with miles and miles of trash all along. And uh, the main, the leader of the Indians, the main Indian, is bringing all the Indians and all the other Americans down this road. And suddenly he makes a right turn and he goes down rows and rows of corn. Now, this is again just me. You can, I, maybe it's, I'm open for, I'm open for other interpretations, but I believe the Lord is showing, showing us in this that God is going to restore to these people a way, a livelihood of dignity and usefulness and, and something very valuable. So they see rows and rows of corn. They're going up and down and they do a, a powwow dance. In other words, I believe this is again just another little dance of gratefulness that this something is, this is broken forth. And the chief then has all these beautiful feather, this, this uh, costume with all these feathers all the way down his back. And he goes to a tree and he takes the tree and, sh and shakes the, the branch of the tree and nuts fall down. And, and then all the others follow suit. They go to the tree and they start shaking it. And this is again my interpretation. I just think this is a follow-up of the livelihood you know, not only is it corn, but it also is just agriculture in general. So uh, way down in the cornfield, and I think this next part is a symbol of the prosperity that's coming to these people. Well-deserved prosperity as they step into the plan that God has for them. So way down in the field, they're no longer growing corn, but a sports car like a Corvette comes roaring up the street speeding through all the corn rows and um, there are rows and rows and rows of these people but then she in this vision the Lord shows her rows and rows of women and uh, ladies what and and all the ladies have papooses you know baby uh, carriers carrier carrot uh, papooses and so the uh, the uh, the neat thing about it is that there's, uh, there is one lady for every man. And I don't know what this means in terms of Indian culture right now, but I do know that, uh, that that's something that's so solid for a, a foundation for any society. And um, um, then, uh, we, then she saw a vision of an Indian Again, cover, and I saw, I saw the most amazing at a Christian event, this, this Christian Indian man, and he was covered in the most beautiful costume of feathers, and he did a dance. Oh, he was like he was going a thousand miles an hour. I mean, the power in that man. So I, this, this, I just have that burning in my heart, this, this uh, gifting, this, this strength, that this all all this this uh, God given gifts that is in this these people this first these first nations is going to be uh, going to be united with all the other giftings. So in the, the end of this, then the Indian covered in this beautiful feather regalia goes up the steps of the Capitol with great dignity. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.